Hi, and thanks for joining me for this fun cardio walking workout with agility intervals. You guys love my power walking workout, so this is the agility version. We have 30 seconds of walking in place, followed by a whole one minute interval of an agility move. So that means short, quick, fast movements. You need to go at your own pace. It's not set to music, we've got a timer. So again, go at your own pace, but you do want to make the moves as quick as you comfortably can. You only need one small item. I'm using a hand weight for one of the intervals um, to simply tap your feet against. You can grab a book off your bookshelf or something that will stay stable that you can tap your toes on. And that's it. We're gonna go ahead and get started. First 30 seconds, we're just marching in place. We're gonna start that timer. And again, you're choosing your own pace throughout the whole workout. I encourage you to try to make the movements quicker. Building agility is gonna help our balance, help your reaction time, and overall staying more agile. I mean, who doesn't want that? Our first move in 10 seconds is gonna be knee up with a quick switch, opposite leg to the other side, and we're just alternating sides. So it goes knee, tap, knee, tap. Make sure you're breathing. Knee doesn't have to come up high. Again, it's more so about being quick. Keep it up, halfway there. Always come back to the march if you need a break. Got it, keep the speed up. And walk. Woo, nice job. Recovering from this. Maybe take a nice deep, deep in breath. And out. Let's keep that heart rate up. Next move is alternating punches to the front. So no lower body, all upper body. Just making it quick. Let's take the legs a little bit wider. Here we go, punch, 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 punch. Bring the core in. And I'm turning at the wrist here as I punch palms facing down. This helps work the core as well. Going as fast as you can, shoulders down. Don't let the shoulders creep up. Breathe. You gotta keep going. Quick, 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 quick. All right, and walk. Woo. Shake that out. You can always take the walks forward and back if you like. And at least 30 seconds, go quick. Our next agility move is hopping or just stepping front, stepping back. Starting with a left leg lead, we do quick up and back. So little baby steps up and back. Always with that left leg lead first, we'll switch halfway through. Up on your toes a little bit, helps it go quicker. Okay, let's switch leads. I know it feels funny going with that other side. 
Get into your pattern here. Up, 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 back. Up, up, back, back. Try not just to run in place. Forward and back. A little movement in there. Woo! Shake it out. March it out. Nice job. Woo! Get that blood flowing again. Our next move is similar to what we just did, but this time we're going out, out, in, in. Super important no matter what we're doing to work in different planes of motion. Right, we're not always just going front and back. Here we go, out, out, in, and same thing, left leg lead. You are going as fast as you comfortably can. Small movements. I can't enforce that enough, you guys, at your own pace. Everyone is different. Breathe. And switch. Right leg lead. Your thighs burning. Little bend in those knees. Almost there. Keep it up. And march. Nice job. Those were quick, I know. I should have marked my steps for this workout. You guys let me know how many steps you do. I love to hear it. Okay, next move. We have three alternating high knees with a balance hold. So slow, 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 hold. Okay. But we're gonna pick, you can stay here, but then we're gonna pick up the pace if you're able to. So up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. So like a little baby jog, still low impact. Great for our balance. Up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. Again, or slow it down. If you're slowing down, really want you to emphasize that hold for the balance. Breathe. And march. Woo! Getting sweaty in here. Next, we have another lateral movement going to the side like a cross shuffle. Kind of what you see the guys do in football training. So we're gonna work our way to one side so we have some room. We cross forward, we cross back, we cross forward, quickly go the opposite direction. Starting stepping on our left leg. Here we go. Cross front, cross back, tap. Cross front, cross back, tap. Want you to go quick here. Does not matter if you're crossing the right way or if you're following me. All that matters is that you're doing the quickest footwork for you. all about the feet. You know, as a dancer, I try to naturally swivel my hips. I'm gonna try to keep them straight for this one. So good, you guys. I hope you're having fun. So important to challenge our bodies in different ways. Woo, and walk. Nice job. 
Okay, next is when you're gonna need your item. Again, I'm just using the hand weight. Grab a book, grab a dog toy, and we're just gonna set it in front of us, about one foot in front of us, and then we're gonna tap our toes, quickly alternating on that item. All right, let's go ahead and grab that item. And again, very quickly, we're tapping our toe. Tap, 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 tap. Again, as quick as you can. Is your core engaged? All right, your shoulders down and back. Try not to look at it so much. You wanna keep good posture. But challenge yourself to keep that pace. Almost there, guys. Stay with me. Don't quit, you can slow down, but don't quit. We get to walk after this. And move that off to the side and continue our walk. Nice job, catch your breath. Our legs get a little break on the next one. We're gonna be isolating our torso and pushing away with our hands. All right, here we go. Stance is a little bit wider. Start with the hands on the hips. And I just want you to isolate the torso. So try to keep the hips still. You should feel a nice stretch in your sides and in your lower back. Then we're gonna add the push, 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 push. So what the body naturally wants to do is this. Don't let it. You gotta isolate that torso movement. So good for our core. Push, push. Again, it's about quick reaction time here. A little bend in those knees. After this, we walk and then we just have two more intervals. Tummy and breathe. And walk. Woo, good job on that one. All right, guys, two and a half more minutes of work. We got this. Next, we're going to skaters or a step cross back. So it looks like that, nice and wide. And we're gonna do a quick toe tap. So you can add that teeny little hop, still low impact, right? Because both my feet, at least one is on the floor. I want you to pretend it's hot, it's hot. Quick jump, quick jump or just tap that toe. Arms can go side to side. And then let's pick up the pace. There's no shame in keeping that step touch cross behind. Or maybe you do the bigger move for the first half and then walk it for the second or just step. We'll get you stronger, it'll get better every time we do it. You guys know I don't baby you. And quick, it's hot. Tap, 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 tap. Woo, and walk. Catch your breath. One more minute. One more cardio agility move. It's one you know, I always do with our warm ups. The step tap, switching legs out to the side with the arm push. So it's just a quick switch, 
quick switch. You can stay here, you can add the arm, or again, the goal is to make it quicker. You can do quick and you can leave the arm, right? Alternating toe taps out to the side, or some version of that in between. You do you. This is it. We walk for 30 seconds, and then we do some stretches. Almost there, guys. Quick switch, last 10 seconds. Don't give up on me now. And walk. Woo! You did it. I'm out of breath. I know you guys are out of breath. Super proud of you. I was pushing myself on that one too. Again, no expectation to keep up. Everyone has to go at their own level. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Whew. All right, slow step touch here. Just bend the knees, roll the shoulders. Let's give ourselves a minute here to lower that heart rate back down. And then back to a nice and slow march. And let's stretch back of our legs, our calf muscles especially. They should be nice and warm. All those quick movements on our toes. So big step back, little lunge forward in that front leg. Press the heel towards the floor. Doesn't matter if the heel doesn't reach the floor, but I want you to straighten that back knee. Do you feel that nice calf stretch? Holding this position, put a little bend in that back knee that switches the stretch to the Achilles tendon. Good, and step back forward. Balance, hold on to a chair, hold on to a wall. Give me some ankle circles. Nice and slow, that should feel good. And reverse. Other leg, big step back. Lunge forward on the front leg. Heel presses down with a straight knee on the back leg. Breathe into the stretch. And then a little teeny bend in the knee. Heel can come up slightly. And step back center. Ankle circles on the right leg. And switch. Good. Nice wide stance here. Toes facing forward. Hips come back. I want you to lunge to the side. So push your hips to the side and back. You want a nice stretch in that inner thigh. We worked that quite a bit. And all those cross side movements. Hold that here. Come back to center, other side. Shift those hips to the side and back. Do you feel a nice stretch in that inner thigh? Keep your chest proud here, try not to round the back. And come back to center, nice wide stance. Reach the arms forward, sit back with a squat. Slight forward fold, don't drop the head here, we're just stretching the backs of the legs. Then we bend the knees, round, tuck the chin, round the back, tuck the tailbone, and roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let's do that again. One big squat, 
hinge forward just so the chest is parallel to the ground. And then we bend the knees. Tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. And roll it up. Nice and slow. A couple big arm circles. Open up that chest. Other side. And lastly, big inhale. Arms come up, down. Give yourself a big hug, a pat on the back for her job. Well done. That was not easy, but if you still want more, I will link a weight video coming up next if you want to build your strength. Thanks for working out with me, and we'll see you next time.